Sue there at Sue here. Um, we went camping and I wanted to talk about that today and a little bit about the carnival diet and how, how awesome carnival is for camping. And I've also got some video um, some photos that I want to put up at the end of this video um, of where we went. So we went up to Northland for the weekend. We haven't been up there for a long time. Um, there's some beautiful, beautiful spots up in Northland. So Northland, if you haven't been to New Zealand, Northland is north of Auckland. And um, it's kind of the little bit that, that sits up the top of the North Island of New Zealand. Um, and we, the reason we went, I've been wanting to go up there for since we came back, basically. Um, we went up there quite a bit when we lived in New Zealand last time and haven't been in the seven years that we've been back so um we have some friends who moved up there and it was her 60th birthday so that was the perfect excuse because I'd been wanting to go and see them so it was the perfect excuse to get, excuse to go up uh took a couple of days off work and we went up on Saturday her birthday um event was on the Saturday night at their house and then we had two days camping um and came home yesterday so where did we go so our friends live at um in an area called Kaiwaka and we stayed with them on Saturday as I said and then we went out and camped at um Uratiti or Uratiti to be on you want to pronounce it at the there's a beach campsite out there it's a dock campsite so we went and camped out there for the two nights so the campground is right on the beach and um it was quite flooded because they've had a lot of rain so we camped back towards the road the only downfall with that campsite is the road noise because that road the traffic just doesn't stop northland has got incredibly busy since we were up there last it used to be this most of northland was this little quiet almost no traffic and now there's just traffic constantly on highway one and that dock campsite is on highway one so pretty busy lots of trucks and things um, but apart from that it was great it was a really cool campsite plenty of space it wasn't very busy of course at this time of year um, but loads of space there's hot showers there for two dollars each and um, there are loads of cold showers and loads of they're all long drop toilets but plenty of toilets and um, a short walk over the dunes to the beach and I'll pop some photos in of that beach um, at the end of this video and talk you through where everything is So when we were packing to go, um, because we're eating pretty much carnivore, um, it was actually super easy. Carnivore is the best diet for camping. It's like, it just has to be. Um, what I did was I cooked a beef bowler roast the night before we left. And so that was all cooked. And then we took four big, fatty, beautiful Scotch fillet steaks. And then while we were away, we bought some bacon and some chicken, chicken nibbles. Um, and that was it. And that was all the food that we had to take, apart from with hubby took us bread. Um, but that was it. That was all that we took. Um, and it was when we were packing, I just, I kept feeling like I was forgetting something because it's usually so complicated. You know, you've got to take all these different things. And we didn't have to. We took salt and pepper. We took some tea and coffee. Um, and, yeah, and meat. And that was it. We didn't even take eggs because I'm not eating eggs at the moment. And we basically forgot them. We were going to and because Hubby was going to have some. Um, but we didn't even take eggs. So, yeah, just really, really simple, really easy. We just took the chilli bin. Uh, that's what we call it in New Zealand. In Australia, they call them eskies. Uh, I don't know what you call them in America. They're cooler than things that you put ice and food in. If you, if you want to comment below, tell me what they call, what you call them in, in America. That'd be cool. Um, so we just bought ice each day, I think, because our chili bin isn't a very good one, and I need to buy a better one. Um, but we bought ice each day, and the, the Scotch fillet steaks were... Uh, vacuum packed vacuum sealed and they were frozen when we left on Saturday so that was 
perfect because um, just kept to kept helped keep everything else cool. We did actually oh we took cheese with us and butter, um, cheese, butter, salt, pepper, meat, tea, coffee, hubby's bread, and that was about it. I took some pork rinds for snacks. Didn't even really eat those. Um, ate them on the way home yesterday in the car. And that's something we were talking about is how much that's changed the whole snacking thing since we've been eating this way because in the past we would have taken chippies and peanuts and things like that and they would have all been eaten while we were gone because we would have sat there and had a drink at night time and had a nibble on those things. Um, so, yeah, we we did have a drink or we took some, um, some wine and some rum with us. So we did have a drink. Um, and it was really... It was a really good weekend. I wish it was longer. It could have been way longer. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say how easy carnival, carnival has to be the ideal diet for camping. As long as you can get ice, you're all good. All good. We took the barbecue with us and the little one, portable one. Um, I showed that on one of my other videos. Um, if you haven't seen that, that's the video where I talk about my favorite kitchen appliances. Um, we've got this little barbecue that's a bit like a Weber. We took that in the back of the car, and we took our tent, and our air mattress, and yeah, and we just went camping, and it was super cool. So we're going to do more of that through the summer, I think, because we really enjoyed it, and we haven't done much camping for a while, and we need to do more. Get out in the get out in nature and just chill, and have have some fun, do some walking, and go to beaches and things like that. So yeah. I will pop those those photos in here now and I will run through where they are and there's some beautiful, beautiful spots. So this is our setup at the Uratiti Dock Campground where we camped and this is just a bit of the flooding um, that was all over the place and all the low areas and part of the road was flooded. And this is um, Uratiti Beach, which is absolutely beautiful. White sand, squeaky sand like, like the Gold Coast. And beautiful view out to Whangarei Heads. Uh, that's Hubby, <laughs> walking through the sand dunes. And um, quite a wavy beach and not, not too safe for swimming, I don't think. Now, this is Waipu Caves. And we went out there and had a look. Um, there's a couple of caves there, quite a big one, one of them. And they have glowworms in them. Bush around there is really beautiful, and we went for a bit of a bush walk up the hill, um, and there were some unusual kind of stone formations, really stunning um, up there, beautiful bush, um, lots of little swallows flying around, making nests and holes, and it's hard to see in the photos, but there's some really interesting looking rocks up the top of this hill. Um, and then this is me putting my feet up. Um, once, once we got home, having a wee rest, and then this is the next day we went out to Bailey's Beach. So Bailey's Beach is the longest drivable beach in New Zealand. It's 107 kilometres long, and the hills basically come right down to the beach. Um, there's a little township at Haley's Beach, not much there, a couple of, uh, I think it's a takeaway and a cafe and lots of holiday houses. Purple jellyfish, there's lots of purple jellyfish on Bailey's Beach, or there was that day, all different sizes from little tiny ones up to great big ones. Um, but just sand for as far as the eye can see and hills. And that's me with a sunburnt face after two days of hanging about on the beach and walking and stuff. And then this was the day we were coming home. We went out to Whangarei Heads. It was raining. Hubby was <laughs> determined to find some stones on the beach. So that was him out in the rain. I did get out eventually. And then when we got up to the end of Whangarei Heads, we went up to a cafe and had a coffee up there. And that was a beautiful view. Just sat there and looked at the view. This is an interesting little um, rock formation on the top of this hill, which is hard to see through the tree. So that's it. Any questions or comments? Um, far away below and um, if you like this video subscribe share do all those things and um, yeah I'll talk to you again another day okay